writing to the Hebrews. Who was the Hebrews? Speak out. The Jews. Is that right? Now, them was the law keepers, the Sabbath keepers. Is that right? Is that right, brother preacher? They were Sabbath keepers. They were the law keepers. All right. Now, Paul is bringing the Jews by shadows and types, showing them what the law type, the law having a shadow of the good things to come. And he goes ahead and gives it in one place as the moon and the sun, as the, the, the moon is just a shadow of the sun shining on some other country, some other world, and it's reflecting back here. Now, but now, oh, could not the uh, Hebrews 9. Now notice, now in Hebrews 4, he comes to the Sabbath proposition. Now look, let us therefore fear lest the promise being left us to enter into his rest. Now, Paul speaking to Sabbath keepers now, the people who kept the Sabbath day. Let us fear, let the promise being left us about a Sabbath day, in other words. Or if you notice your margarine, or the keeping of a Sabbath. It's J in mine, of the Scofield Bible, or the keeping of a Sabbath. See? All right. Let us fear, let the promise being left us come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them, back in the law, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith to them that heard it. Now that's back under the law. They didn't have faith, so nothing to base it on. See? All right. For we which have believed to enter into his rest, as he said, now his rest, now his is Christ's rest. All right. His rest, his Sabbath. I'm, every time I use rest is, I'm going to use the Sabbath so you understand by keeping of a day. See? For we which have believed to enter into his Sabbath, rest, as he said, I have sworn in my rest, to the Hebrews, they shall not enter into my rest, although, now watch Paul go back to God's sanctified day, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day for a rest or a Sabbath. Is that right? I'm going to lay that there. See? For he spake in a certain place in the law of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest on the seventh day from all his works. That's the seventh day. Now, Paul admits that. God gave it to him. There was the seventh day. And God did rest the seventh day. He blessed the Sabbath day. He hallowed it. He sanctified it and made it a day of rest. God did do it from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, Jesus speaking. Now, there's another Sabbath somewhere. Where's this? Now, remember this year, God's rest. That seventh day. Paul said they had that in a certain place. But now again, he says, if they shall enter into my rest. Speaking of Jesus in Matthew. Or, Seeing that it remains that some must enter in, and to them who was first preached, enter not because of unbelief. Again, now listen close. Everybody listen, say amen. amen. Listen. Again, he limited a certain day. He limited a day here. What was it? Everybody said it once. The Sabbath. Is that right? He limited the seventh day of the week as a Sabbath in this place. And again, he limited a certain day. Saying in David, in this psalm, Today, after so long a time, so Jesus comes, you see, the first time, it is said, Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. There's another rest coming, not a physical, a spiritual. Now watch. Well, you say, when we have the seventh day too. Now hold just a minute. Let's read the next verse. See? Don't get it too fast. All right. For if Jesus had have given them, for if, if Jesus had given them rest, rest day, then would he not afterwards have spoken of another day when he changed the law from the law to the grace? Wouldn't he give them a day to rest, the rest day of certain days? But he never said nothing about the Sabbath. He never said nothing about Sunday. He never said nothing about Saturday. But here's what he did say, Paul said. Now what? There, 19th or the ninth verse, there remaineth therefore a Sabbath to the people of God. That's today. The there remains a Sabbath to the people of God. 
For he, your iron, who has entered into his rest, Jesus' rest, come unto me, all you labor and heavy lady, I'll give you rest. He, your iron, has ceased from his own work as God did from his at the beginning. Amen. Amen. That's your Sabbath. Is that right? Amen. Let us labor, said Paul, to enter into that rest. Amen. Amen. Lest any man should fall at the same example of unbelief of days and so forth. See? Yes. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the divine thunder of the soul and the discerner of the, and the, uh, let's see, of the spirit and of the... Just a minute. Divider thunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the mire and the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature is not manifested in his sight, but all things are naked and open before his eye of him that whom we have to do. Now look, God rested the seventh day, created the seventh day, give it to the Jews for a memorial. I'm speaking of St. Paul now, see? Here, now you think, he was bringing, you think he had a right? Now what did he say in Galatians 1 8? If an angel from heaven would come and teach you any other gospel than that what I have said, let him be unto you a curse. See? The gospels are plain. Now what? Well, Brother Brandon, now what do I do? Just believe Jesus Christ? No, that's not the rest. Now, if you want to know what, how many like to know what the Christian rest is? Say amen. amen. Now, you can mark it if you want to. Uh, uh, Isaiah 28. He said, Precept must be upon pre precepts, speaking. Precepts upon precepts. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. And hold fast to that what's good. The prophet speaking of the time coming about rest. Sabbath, read the whole chapter, you see. You think time's there when the Sabbath day will be done away and they'll sell shoes on the Saturday the same as they did on Monday or whatever more, you see. Then when will this time be? said, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Hold fast to that what's good. For with stammering lips and with other tongues will I speak to this people and this is the Sabbath. The rest that I said that they should enter into, and for all of this, they have hardened their hearts and wagged their heads and re rejected it. Just the same thing they did on Pentecost when the Holy Ghost fell upon the people and the Holy Ghost was first given to the people back there on the day of Pentecost. That is the rest, the Sabbath of the people of God. Amen. So the only reason that we keep Sunday started by our ancient fathers of the Bible, St. Paul, John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and all them. They went from house to house. They've taken communion on the first day of the week when the disciples come together, and it was called not a Sabbath, but the Lord's Day. John said on the Isle of Patmos, it already been officially established in the church, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's Day. That's right. See, and, then he saw, and, and now the Lord's Day is... Is the uh, day that the Lord wrote. Now you go get the historian Josephus, Agabus, many of those other, or not Agabus, uh, oh, I can't, any of the ancient writers, and you'll find out back there the historians of the church, Fox Book of Martyrs, many of those, and you'll find out there that the only difference is there were a group of Jews. One of them they called cannibals. That was a Christian. They said there was a man that Pontius Pilate killed. And the disciples come and stole his body. They got it hid, and every, every Sunday they go eat a part of it. They're taking communion. You see, they're, they're taking his body, you see. They said they're taking their Lord's body, the communion, and they didn't know what it was. And he said they were cannibals. He said they go eat on the first day of the week. They'd meet together and eat this man's body. And the only way you could tell whether they were law keepers and bitterly denied the resurrection or whether they was Christian and believed the resurrection, one went to church on Saturday and one went to church on Sunday, which was a mark between them. That's pretty strong, isn't it? All right. Hope that gets it. Uh